everybody, welcome to the second last day of your challenge. It's all about legs today, then we've got a full body challenge tomorrow and stretching on Sunday, and then you're done for the week. Um, all you need today is a paper plate or a piece of paper if you have carpet. If you have hardwood floor, um, a face washer will do. You just need something that's going to help there to be less friction between your foot and the floor. So I'm just using a paper plate because we've got some left over from Christmas. To set up, you're just going to come to a standing position, pop the plate on the floor under one foot, and then you're just going to sit your bottom backwards a little bit by hinging at the hip. Feel like the leg that you're standing on, you're twisting your thigh outwards, and then all you're going to do is take that leg out and in. Out and in. Out. Your eye line is straight ahead, checking down every now and then. Now this shouldn't be causing too much pain in the knee. If it is, just check your position. Make sure your butt is behind, your knee is behind your toes, and that thigh bone, it's like you're twisting it outwards. Kind of get your inside thigh more around to the front of your leg. Draw in between your hip bones and your bottom ribs. Three to go. Now we're going to do little half circles. You're going to take it forward, back and around, and in. Forward, back and around, in. Forward. Three more this way. Last one. Change directions. You go back, around, and in. Again, keep feeling like you're turning your inside thigh out towards the front, working through the whole side of your hip. Whoops, lost my plate. Three to go. Last one. Change the leg, set yourself up in that nice position so the knee is behind the toes, your hip is backwards, you're feeling that twist and you go out to the side and in, out and in. So the, the moving leg bends and then straightens, bends and straightens, three to go, two, last one. Back to the middle, we go forward and around, forward and around. Oop, lost my plate again. One more. Change direction, back. Again, keep feeling for that external rotation of the stabilizing standing leg. Feel the connection through the front of the body. Three to go, keeping that balance. Eye line up. Last one. All right, you can take your plate out of the way now. So you're gonna come to a standing position. Take one leg back behind you. And I want you to hinge forward, so you're actually using a lot of core to stabilize you in this position. You can either keep your hands on your hips, you can do a genie position, or you can stretch your arms out as well, whichever version you want. This is the hardest, this is the easiest, so go halfway if you want. Today I'm just going to start here and then work my way up to arms straight. Starting with that balancing leg, knee behind the toe, all you're going to do is keep that position. Bring the leg in and back, in and back, in and back. So really the only thing moving is that leg. Everything else is staying still. Come to genie position if you want to increase the challenge. In and out, in and out, in and out. Forearms extend if you want the full version. Three to go, three, two, one. Now from here, 
come into a slightly more upright position. Hands are going to be in a genie position. You're going to step back into a lunge and then up. Step back and up. Step back and up. Step back and up. Back, up. So you sort of start as you go backward, you hinge forward at the hips. Then you come upright. So you're moving at the hip joints now as well. Down and lift. The knee that you're standing on, make sure it's not dropping in towards the midline. Keep pulling it away from you as you drop and as you lift. Drop, squeeze your butt cheek as you come up to standing. Two to go. And up, last one. Now we're gonna increase the amount of work. We go back and knee up. We're just gonna do five, down, knee up. Down requires a lot more balance, a lot more support in that standing leg. One more, we're gonna hold the knee up. Hold here, bring your hands to your thigh, lengthen up, pull that hip bone in underneath the pelvis, straighten the leg and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten, bend. Two to go, straighten, Bend, last one, straighten, bend, bring the leg down. We've got to repeat the whole series on the other leg now. Hinging forward, take that leg back. Hands on your hips to start with. In and out, in and out. Hinged at the hips, knee behind the toe, connecting through the tummy. Hips are drawing together, ribs are drawing together. Eye line is out in front, a few meters out in front. Feel that thigh twisting outwards. Three to go. Two, one, and in. Now from here we up the ante. I didn't raise my arms for that one, so apologize for that. Let's just do a few more with arms extended. Just so we're even. Two, we'll do five. Three, four, five. Okay, from here. We go down and up. Step back into a lunge and come back up. Push your toes and your heel into the floor. Squeeze your butt to help you rise. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Now we're gonna lift the knee. We go back and lift, back, lift, back, lift. Now your foot does not have to go very far away from you. Just wanna make sure that front knee is staying behind your toes. One more, hold, five. Then we're gonna do five um, little leg extensions. Pull your toes to your shin, straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Two to go. Bend, last one. Bend, bring the leg down. You're just gonna find a wall to something to lean on. You can cross one ankle over your knee. I'm gonna try and do it with balance because I don't have a wall. And you can come into like a bit of a seated, seated position. You should feel a stretch up through that bent leg. I've got a wall behind me, so I'll just use that. I'm just gonna breathe. If you want to challenge yourself though, do it without. Just make sure you're near a wall so you can catch if you needed to. Three, two, one. Come up from there, cross the ankle over the opposite knee, and then come down into your seated position. Now, if this is just too much standing, you can, this is just your figure four stretch that you can do on the floor where you lie on your back and you hold. The legs are exactly the same position, you're just holding behind that leg. Let's do four more breaths. Four, three, two, one. Come up to standing, give your legs a little shake. You're all done for today. We've got one more challenge day and then one more stretch day and then the challenge is over. Have a lovely day guys, bye.